Oh, you're back again. It must be a Friday. Oh my golly, golly, golly gosh. Golly, 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 golly gosh. I don't know why I needed to do that, but I felt the need. Yes, it's that Friday feeling and you have missed me. Well, I've missed you because we didn't do it last week because life just gets difficult sometimes and you just don't have time to do anything. But today we've got a bit of time. Yes, we have. Because today we're going to start building the Corsair. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I cannot wait to start building this baby. Um, I must admit, I did have a little play just, you know, so I don't chew up all your time. Um, already a few issues. But we don't care about it because it's Friday. So let's just get building this puppy. Woohoo! Up close and personal. Yes, we've got the overhead cam. Well, it looks like I've got about six billion different types of light. It looks like it's in some kind of football stadium. But we don't mind, we don't mind. If you don't mind, we don't mind. We don't mind, it's only me in here. Oh my golly gosh. Right, there you go, we have got our fabulous Bible. Now it's lovely, and I'm gonna keep this in the plastic bag because I think it's a keepsake for the F4U Corsair. Um, but it's, it's, it's really weird, it's because it actually, you know, when you first uh, when you first look at this, it's like built it from scratch, which obviously it's not here, you know, they built it at the factory. So you're really starting on page, unlucky for me, of course, page, 13. Come on, really? Couldn't they start on page 12? Hang on, hang on, no, wait, wait, wait. Yes, see, we're all right. It starts on page 12. Whew, I thought I put a mocker in the whole thing. It's all good, it's all good, right? Because you know what happens to me when I'm trying to fix wings with bolts? Yes, 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 yes. You remember the F4F? Anyway, let's, let's not talk about that. Right, so I've come prepared. I have got my 6, 6S battery rigged up. So we have our little lead here that's gonna give us our little servo stuff. We have got our thread lock, oh yes. And we've got the Magnol tray. Yes, we are ready. Oh yes, and my golly gosh. And we've even got our 2.5 miller, heck, miller, ma, 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 ma. <laughs> 2.5 millimeter hex drive ready to go for action. And the only thing I haven't done, which I just can do, because it's just to the, my left hand side, is a pair of long nose. So, should we do this? Well, okay, so you want to see what my issues were. Well, it's going to probably blind you. Oh, my eyes. That's all right. It's calmed down. It's calmed down because it's white. <laughs> right, now, trouble is, you've got a thing here. If I just come back down here, you've got this little gizmo here. Well, there's lots of little gizmos, but there's a particular gizmo here. That's the wing. This one here. This one here. And it's got, like, front wheel, back wheel, front wheel on the on the uh, like kind of electronics on the front two front wheels huh and a back wheel what the hell has got two front wheels and a back wheel anyway do it anyway and then you've got the at the back here you've got can you see it there you can't see it but just trust me on this one we'll get our stick here here on here so here we go so we've got our right covering plate and our left covering plate so it's meant to do it in this it's a sequencer basically so these open and uh yeah they don't they, they don't yeah the sequencer doesn't work so it's all good but the the um it's gone a bit dark now isn't it why has it gone dark because my city lights is going it's too bright it's all right we can still see so unfortunately i've got to figure out what i'm going to do about that i don't know see if i can get a different type of sequencer i don't know but uh yeah i've got to say tighten up there's got a little string mechanism here but before I put the wings on, I want to show you the undercarriage, because you know I love undercarriages, right? So, I'm going to have to do manually, I'm going to do the right, the covering, one of them, there you go, blip, up she opens, and then I'll do the other one, which obviously works in reverse, there. So they do work, it's just the sequence is not working. You know, and you can tighten these, it's every, I might have to brighten this so if it's bright and you say what you're talking about chris it's because i've edited it edited it, edited it. <laughs> it's a Friday. right so yeah you can tie up these bits of string like nice little mechanism actually just to uh keep it tight um there's a bit of a weird thing going on here and i'll show you in a minute but anyway let's open these babies because this is sexy i i love it i love it let's just uh let's chuck in the old retract shall we and uh go for retracts have I yes I've put it up correct what's going on there the retracts don't even want to work now 
What's going on here? I think what we should do, we should try and zoom in to the one. If I can zoom in a bit more, yes we can. Because that is just, to me, it's sexy. Look how slow they go. Oh, and again. Oh, yeah. Right, let's kill that power. Um, yeah, so I don't know why the flaps are not uh, doing their business. So, I mean, look at that. It's, this is a lovely, lovely undercarriage. It's got, is it's got, I think it's got suspension. Let's have a look. Yeah, look, it's got suspension. Bing, bing, bing. Sexy, huh? Oh, yeah. You see it from that? You can't, it's a really bad angle, guys and girls, I'm sorry. But yeah, I mean, but the way I looked at it, is if I can just do it there, there. What the hell with three bolts, man? I mean, what the hell? It's just to, to, to give it the off, but really? Putting three bolts there? Come on. So I'm going to get some kind of aluminium or what you say in the States, aluminium tube or something. Maybe a bit of carbon, who knows, something. But uh, that's, that's not what I would... Uh, we're worrying about today are we and um, what we're worrying about today is that because you have to get in here anyway because it's got the folding wing mechanism um uh, it's got and they've stuck it down for some it's, it's really weird why they've stuck this down um it's, i'm gonna just put the lights up a bit more on here because it's really kind of there you go there you go right they've stuck these down so how that am i gonna get in there and then that kind of yeah, it goes kind of, it'll be there, won't it? So you've got here uh, channel 10, wing folding mechanism, then channel 1, aileron, and channel, 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 1, aileron. So there's two ailerons. That's really weird why they've put two cables in there. Why didn't they just put a spitter? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Right, it says in the Bible... Now, what should I do? Should we, because this could go terribly, terribly, terribly wrong. I think I should put the retracts back until we get the cables on. What do you think? I think so. Because I could just see, you know, I could see it all going crazily wrong. Oh, yeah. Oh. Absolutely sexy. Sexy, sexy undercarriage. What happened to the sequencer, I don't know, but all I know that it's not sequencing. What's that? That's, that's something else. Where is it? I've lost them. Here we go. Left pad, right pad. One will close. There you go. That one will close over there. And this one is reversed. don't know why it's reversed. That's what happens when you get servos that you can't edit them and reverse them. This is why I like my high tech because you can get into them and change them things. So you can see, you know, that's not a big deal. You know, there's a little bit of string there you can tighten and that will all close up nice and sexy. Otherwise the wind will catch it and before you know it, yeah. Right, so um, I could probably now probably turn this down just a tad, back to zero. So everyone's gonna go, I'm blind. Right, so in here, so as I'm saying them so's again, you've got some um, hex bolts, I like to call them. Uh, two, there's there's four of them, uh, two of different size, and some um, some nuts. Surprisingly enough, no washers. Talking of, talking of talking and chatting, myself and Shadow Ops was having a nice little chinwag last night. On the uh, we was preparing for a show. He's going to be joining us live, uh, probably week Saturday, week Saturday, because uh, he's he's in he's into his quads and his nitro engines and. And we just have a little chat. And by the time we finished the chat, probably an hour had gone. And it's like, well, we could have really done that as the show. <laughs> it's all good. Right. Now, I need to the aileron, aileron, aileron. And this is the folding wing. Okay, so it's just power. So, I believe in the power. That's a bit weird. Oh, okay, so it's either power. So, I don't know, to pretend to know how that works. But let's just stick it into the power. 
and see what it does. You can see it, yes, you, yeah, you can just squint at the TV. Oh, so that's why. I wonder if it reverses the power then. Yeah, that's what it does. Oh, mate, look at that. Oh, it goes, we could do it all the way to... Oh, do we need to do it all the way to the end? I don't think so. Oh, did you see that? Did you? Did you? I did. <laughs> I really, I'm scared. I'm, why am I scared? Because I, you know what happens to me with, with stuff. With st <laughs> stuff. I tell you what, I reckon what we should do, what we should do, we should slip that over there. Um, this is going to be, now this is when it's going to get right. So let's, um, all right, we got some grease. <laughs> Right, Greece, yes. Greece is like Hobby Kings. You get it from the Hobby King. Uh, and it's, it's, I think it's mainly for cars, really. But I'm going to stick a little bit on there just to stop that. Uh, I mean, it, it'll probably help as well once uh, once you're going. And, of course, now I've got hooky fingers and I don't know where my blue stuff is. It's always the way, isn't it? I, I was so prepped, so... Okay. Um... Okay, right, so a bit of timber's going to get it now. <laughs> right, here we go. Sally, I don't know that. Yes, okay, Alexa doesn't know that either. It's all good. Right, there we go. So I'm hoping that when I just push this on... Oh, look at, look at that. Did you see? Did you... Oh, I wish I had a closer, 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 closer. That went... That was so... Oh, yeah, baby. Right, so... He's saying so again. That comes from that way, so I reckon we'll put this bolt... If that bolt goes in that way, maybe we'll put one, I don't know. It is teeming a rain outside in the UK at the moment. Absolute teeming with like gale force super winds. So, but uh, you know, I'm sure someone would fly in that sort of weather. I'm trying to get it in the hole. Let's just put this long bolt in here to help us find the hole. It was all greasy, but it's maybe I'm just not in it enough. Hang on. I'm there. I am there. So then, why isn't this bolt want to go in? That's it. If I, I think actually, so, so I need to get round here. And this is my 2.5 mil. There we go. It kind of actually screws in. Now I wonder if there's a, a reason why. They didn't put a washer on there. There we go, it kind of... There we go. Do you think I should put a washer or do you think I'm asking for trouble? I'm going to put a washer on. And you know what, I'm not going to put a washer on there. Because the washer's too small. Okay, okay, it's all good, it's all good. But what I am going to do is put a bit of blue Loctite on there. Now remember, ladies and germs, as um, Adam would say from uh, Doodars, blue, not red, blue. Now I just need to clean that if there's anything on that. So I'm just gonna go, we've got our blue Loctite here. If you can see that, can you see, I don't know which way I'm on the camera here. Back to front, inside, there we go. <coughs> blue Loctite, industrial grade. Um, so you just need to put a bit on the thread, not the not the uh, not the aluminium bit. So just be ever so gentle with the bottle, so you don't. Sp oh, I like to do like that. <laughs> it's a bit like when you was a kid, you know. I don't know about you, but you know, whoever it was, your nan, your mum, you whoever, you get a brand new brand new pair of shoes for school. And then what they say is that, you know, don't you scuff your shoes. <laughs> what do you do? You scuff your shoes. Where if you didn't say anything, you know, you'd be happy as Larry. Whoever Larry is anyway. Who's Larry? Do you know Larry? Larry. Right, so. I haven't got a spanner this diddy, but we'll, you know, we'll go for gold. Now, hopefully this will, if I go back, thread in this nicely so if i just hand tight that so it kind of keeps
keeps up with the thread because this is threading itself in. I don't know how tight, I think I can go and get tight so tight there. There we go, right. That's in, whether that's correct or not. I think this is something that I'm gonna, I would have to check every time I fly this baby. Right, so let's just feel on there, that's okay, that's okay. Right, I don't know how I'm gonna do this in the camera position. Maybe we should zoom out a bit more. But then, if I lean this up against something, mainly the fuselage, this is really, I thought this would be a good camera position, but it's, it's kind of not, I think it is. I'm gonna have to come round with the bigger one. And uh, see if I can screw this in. Because they do give you a little, kind of like a gully. Now I know that's not in the hole there, so I need to, maybe we should have put the hole in first. That would have probably been a bit easier. Can you see what you can see what I'm doing? It's a bit weird angle, I know, but yeah. the overcam always is. So if I push that in the hole, I'm hoping that will be kind of the hole should be could should be there. It's still not a bit of an angle, it's still still not they could have cut a bit more out, I think. Because it's still not st oh, straight, you know. I'm gonna end up making a bit more of a line there, but it is what it is. Two what it is but that is screwing in anyway whether it comes out the other side is going to be really interesting but I believe it's going in anyway so it, it's a, it looks like I'm going to have to put, put a bit of paint there or something they make it look so easy on the pictures notice what I'm doing here as well is I'm getting grease everywhere <laughs> yeah, I, I should really stop and go I don't know where my blue towel is my, my wife keeps nicking it for the kitchen Oh yes, he's done it. He did it. Now, little tip, little tip. This is Dad's tip of the day. Is don't lose, <laughs> don't lose your nut. Oh my God, I've got to find that now. Right, so basically it's just thread it first because I found it was a little bit of a burr on that nut. And uh, I've dropped me nuts. What's that you then? Oh my golly gosh, I, that could be, that could, oh, that could be anywhere. I'm gonna need that. Now, now what I've got to do, whoa, extreme close up. <laughs> I forgot he was there, hello, how are you doing? Right, so, what we're doing is, um, it's probably, it's probably a stopper mechanism, I'm hoping anyway. So what I'm gonna do is, Extreme close-ups, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. I can actually do that. There you go. But now I can't see. So um, if I put that in there, can you hear that rain? Wow, that is extreme, isn't it? Look at that. You've never felt so close in your life. So we're, we'll screw this through. Look at this for a close-up. Don't ever say that Dad's RC hanger doesn't give you extremes. Right, so while that's on there, we'll use a nut that I have, <laughs> that I haven't lost, and uh, we'll stick a bit more Loctite in it so it doesn't come off. In fact, the wing one's quite good because with the, when you tighten the, um, you've got grease then, when you tighten the, the Allen uh, bolt, right through it the end of it actually goes into the foam so it's almost like a safety thing so if the nut did loosen the nut wouldn't come off really clever thinking so let's do this a little bit so reverse polarity okay Might be good to put a bit. I don't know if it is it, if it's good to put grease on this or not. Oh, wrong way. Oh, oh, oh boom! 
And there she is, look, there she is in all her glory. <laughs> <laughs> Sound effects off of me. Yes, extremely up close and personal. Yay, she's up again. Right, so we brought you down from the ceiling because, you know, yeah, we just did. So I've been playing about, which obviously is not long for you, but was was really long for me. Uh, <laughs> but not that long, really. So as I say, I cut down there, and then I, I looped the cables back into the wheel well. Um, and I'll see if I can get all this in shot, and maybe if I could just brighten up a bit, you might be able to see what I'm doing. Ta-da! Right. Um, now you got to watch this power, because I think... Um, Rich from RC Informer had this little trick and I've just gone way too over the top with the brightness. I think I'll just do it on the uh, laptop. Anyway, um, it's that you pull these out and get the, like a little blade in the pins so they tighten down because they're not quite, you know, notice it's on a like, kind of like on a diagonal because the, the power won't work. So obviously it's not getting in the pins properly. So look at, make sure that you can wiggle all this about and it works. Otherwise you're going to get in trouble. Uh, just before you take off. So I loop that back down there so it gives you enough uh, cable access to take it back off again and then it's glued. Now what I did um, which is better to show you is that I, I, I then put some blendum and different sages. You could use I suppose um, you could use I was going to use um, I was going to use some uh, um, rubber tubing um, heat shrink sorry <laughs> rubber tubing heat shrink but I thought well no let's just use blendum because uh, I don't know if it would get around this and it would be that tight enough and it would start catching. Now, I slit a little hole down here. Um, you probably won't be able to see it, but just down there I made the, the, the cut a bit deeper so I could push the cable down um, from the flaps and I pushed the excess back underneath the flaps. The power and the aileron... Uh, sorry, this is the aileron, sorry, so I pushed back up. The other aileron, I pushed the cables back here. So it should be nice and tidy. So if I show you um, what happens when uh, we open the room. in all her glory so and if you look here you can see the cables that where this one uh, let's get it in shot where this one came down I'll just cut it a bit more so it doesn't start rubbing against this all the time um, I'm gonna have to do a bit more uh, messing about um, maybe you can just see I just want that away you can't see actually can you but <laughs> there I just want that away from the spindles because over time when you do do that, it will probably tear the, the sheath of the cable and then you're going to be really in stuck. But I just need to sort of uh, blend them that a bit more. But you can see it's nice. To, to, so on here you've got the hot glue and then a couple of, of I think of three lengths of blend them. I could have probably stuck with two to be honest. I think that other blend them is making it all catch up a little bit. But as you can see, that so it's a nice, and you can spray it so it looks like, you know, I don't know, some cables or whatever so if I close her now <laughs> perfect now when you do this uh, uh, it, you know all the, the spindle is actually away from the cables it's just make sure it doesn't catch anywhere you know make sure that uh, it's all um, you know leaving enough gap but, but there you go so you're not going to see you know just before you take off you're not going to have cables hanging out the undercarriage and you're thinking oh you know what's going on there but I think just you know a visual inspection of every flight of the cables make sure that it hasn't been snagged hasn't been caught um, but to be honest the motors will stop when they feel a, uh, a force a presence force so I'm going to basically have a look at this and fix this uh, fix this um, connector in here um, as you can see if I move that about that won't work so I've got to just make sure the pins are going into I don't know why they just didn't put a three-way connector in to keep it solid or put a two-way on here a, a, a connector that's a, that's a bit of a silly thing to do to be honest with you but let me do that and I'm gonna get uh, the other wing on 
Um, and then I think we'll have a quick, uh, with quick flash. I've got to see what time because we are pushing on time. Um, so let's see where we go from here. Um, and to, I'll put the other wing on and uh, we'll see them in all their glory. Oh yes, he's back. Yes, I have put both wings on. We have severely run out of time. I did want to put all the push rods and everything else on. But we're just having a good time. But look at this. Come on, look, watch, 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 watch. Look at this. I tell you, I'm so excited. I just try and calm myself down before the video. Just before I said goodbye. Friggin' huge, look at the size. Look at look at look, 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 look. This is huge. Now, just quickly, because we are running out of time, I did loosen off uh, where I screwed these into about, I don't know, a little bitty turn, just to take the tightness off. And yes, I did put grease on there, on this one, not on this one. So I, I was with this one of them anyway. I did take it apart to put some grease on. But just putting that little grease on just makes it glide that much smoother. So, but you know, you've got to get yourself one of these. And if you do, then obviously pre-flight checks, make sure it's not missing any nuts. I still haven't found my nut. It's on the floor somewhere. It's on the floor of doom. But it's okay, because I've got a bunch of nuts. Coconuts. I've got a bunch of nuts. Am I on the diggly again? Never mind. I've got a bunch of nuts and Allen bolts anyway that I wanted to pack off because I keep dropping them all. So, there you go. We have built the wings, the fold-up wings of the uh, F4U Corsair. F4U? F4U Corsair. I don't think then. My brain just went a bit weird. Don't worry about it. We've got plenty more to build and we are back next Friday with that Friday feeling to give you some oomphage. I mean, basically push rods. We're just going to quickly do those um, and test those that you've seen me do push rods for. But we'll do one just in case it's your first video you've seen and you're getting into RC. Um, and then we're going to put the body on. The body will slip straight onto here. Uh, we figure out the um, sequencer. Then I was on about that. Maybe I can replace that for a different sequencer. I don't know. Um, if you've got any questions, because I did waffle on a bit, and I did find, I did cut a bit of the video edge out, because I was going too deep, too deep. But if there's something you think that uh, you've missed, and uh, you're looking to get this plane in, feel free to uh, to leave in the comments and, uh, and ask me some questions. So, until next week, um, please subscribe, and thanks to all them subscribers that have subscribed, 600 odd or whatever you are, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, don't forget, not tomorrow, but which is, I mean, today is the 26th of March. So not this Saturday, which will be the 27th, but the Saturday after, we got uh, we got uh, another Saturday Night Live. Um, and uh, yes, we've got Shadow Ops all the way from the US of A joining us. Um, so that's going to be a good chit-chat show. And hopefully we, um, uh, David would have finished all the beta flight and we can carry on with the droning on episode. Um, so that will be next week, Saturday. But next Friday, we're back in the place. So you know, hit that bell if you wanna, don't want to miss any of the videos. And of course, please like. I uh, like up or like down, whatever. If you like down, leave us a, a comment of why you didn't like it. Um, you know, I aim to improve. But you are just following my RC journey. So I'm just going to do this one more. So that is noisy. But until next week, <laughs> keep safe, be safe. Keep flying, and hey, you gotta love the hobby, right? Thanks for popping by. See you later now. Set off. <laughs>